In this video, we're going to take a look at oblique drawings. And we really have two different types of obliques that we're talking about. We have cavalier and cabinet. And they start off the exact same way. There's one minor difference that actually winds up being a pretty big difference when it's all said and done. Uh, but let's start off with getting it ready to go so we can get to that difference. Uh, and again, the point of an oblique drawing is to kind of give you a different view of how an object looks. It's not an isometric, but it still shows all three sides. And it's not a one or two point perspective, but it, again, gives us another way to view our items. And the more ways we can view stuff, sometimes that just helps being able to visualize it a little bit easier. Uh, so we're going to start off with the Cavalier one, and then we're going to go to the cabinet. And the only difference between these two is the depth of the object. And we'll get into more of that in just a second. Uh, but to begin with, the Cavalier drawing that we're going to start off with. We want to start with the front view. So in this case, we have our white cube here. Um, and it's going to say, let's say, a one inch white cube. If each of our grid spaces is a quarter of an inch, then we need to go down four grid spaces. So let's start off in our bottom left hand corner and I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four. From there, I can go over four spaces, one, two, three, four, and then I'll just finish off the box uh, to make sure that we have everything set up and ready to go. So I have my front view totally done. It's 100% correct, it's ready to go. Um, and that's as complicated as this aspect of it gets. Uh, so we have our front view done, it's ready. Now the only thing we need to do is add on our depth because an oblique drawing gives us three, a 3D kind of feel. So now I'm gonna take all of my outside corners minus the one that would cross over itself and we're gonna go back a full depth. This is a cube, so we're gonna go back four grid spaces. In a cabinet, we'll go back half of that and we'll show you what the difference looks like in just a moment. I'm going to go like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. The last job on here is to connect all of your dots because you really want to get something that looks like an isometric. Um, it's just a little different. So I'll go in, connect one, and then I'll finish off my top view. Now, if you notice, I get something that looks very, very much like the isometric. The difference here is my lines are at 45 degrees to show depth. They're not at 30 degrees, which is what an isometric uses. And it looks a little bit skewed, a little bit bigger than what the actual cube looks like. Um, that kind of comes important uh, because with the cube, the Cavalier doesn't show off as being as big as what it is. Um, but in drawings that have a lot more depth um, than what this one does, where it's equal, they show up a lot fatter, for lack of a better term. They look a lot wider, deeper than what they actually are. Again, the front view is the exact same. Uh, it, it is just a four or one inch by one inch in this case, uh, but the depth is what changes. Now in a cabinet drawing, we still have the depth changing, but the difference here is that it's gonna change by half, um, which gives us a more realistic looking Im image generally. One, two, three, four. Uh, so I'm just going in and drawing my front view. Uh, this step does not change depending on what we're doing. So it's always the same here. Uh, no matter what, we are drawing our front view and it looks beautiful. All right, again, the exact same front view. There's no difference between the two. They are set the same. Now the difference comes in where the depth is what actually changes. Front view stays the same, depth changes. In this case, on a cabinet ca oblique drawing, we are gonna go half of the depth. So on our previous one, we went four. On this one, we're actually only gonna go one, two. And I'll do that on all of the corners that are visible. And then I'll go in finally and connect the dots. Now, if you look at it, it looks like the cabinet is a lot shorter and smaller than what the Cavalier is. Again, the front views are the exact same. Um, the only thing that's changed here is the depth. Our depth is half on a cabinet. It gives us a much more realistic looking drawing. If you look between those two, the Cavalier one looks a lot fatter, it looks a lot more exaggerated, and a little bit more out of focus or out of kind of skew than what the cabinet is. And that's really what a cabinet drawing is there to do. It's there to be able to set up and figure out how big something is. The nice thing with the Cavalier is you could just stick a ruler on there and measure everything and have all of your dimensions and they're 100% correct. On the cabinet drawing, you can measure the top and the right view incorrectly because the depth is half. The front view is always gonna be the same, but you need to make sure you remember that the depth is what's different. Um, so that's kind of the setup. That's how these oblique drawings work. Uh, we'll do some more of these in a little bit, uh, but this is the basic stuff and please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.